Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain one simple fact and that is avoid using uh, constants in Excel calculations. I'll show it here an example. Uh, we've got a sales guy called John Smith. He sold 300 items and the turnover he, he did was uh, 15,000. Now he's getting, he's got a base salary of 1,000 plus he's get, he gets two kinds of provisions. One, the first provision is for the item sold and he gets one euro per item sold. And another thing is he gets a provision on the turnover which is 5% of the turnover. So we want to calculate how much provision does he get and then the total. Well, let's start with the items. Now, a very valid uh, calculation formula would be something like that. I'll take the 300 and multiply one. And it's, it gives me the correct answer. The problem is, uh, let's say your boss comes, comes around in a year and says, you know what, we're not gonna give one euro per item sold, we're gonna give two euros per item sold. Now, your problem is, you would have to go back to that formula and update that one into a two. Now, if you got only one formula, obviously that's not a big problem. But what if you got a lot of elaborate formulas, one depending on the other, and you know, you you wouldn't know where to, where, you know how many formulas you got and stuff like that. So so you can see this is quite bad form. Same thing with the turnover. If I if I calculate the, the provision for the turnover like that, very valid answer. But again, if 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 the company changes those provision rates, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble if I have not not with this simple calculation. I'm in trouble if I have a very complex uh, spreadsheet with lots of uh, dependencies. That's where, that's where my problems start. And where do I update? Have I forgotten to update some calculation? Am I getting the right stuff? So as you can see, this is quite bad form in spite of getting the right answer. So one way of doing it is to put the rates, those constants somewhere in a cell and use that cell. For instance here, uh, like the 5% is over here, what I can say, instead of having that 5% in the calculation itself, I'll just click on that cell I'm getting the same result. Now, once I update, you can see it easily updates not only not only not only that cell but any other cell which depends on that six percent. Now, putting it on the same sheet is uh, not, not quite very pro not quite professional. The best way to do it is to have a separate sheet where you put in all your rates, and that's where you go if you want to change some rate. So that's why I've, I've, I have here an empty table called rates. And I'm gonna put in all my rates. I'm gonna say, everybody in the company gets the same salary. So base salary, salary is 1K. Then uh, item sold, it's one euro as we said. And the uh, turnover, it is 5%. And now what we do, Take that, remove that one, that constant, take it away, go over to that other sheet, and bingo. Same thing here. Go over to the other sheet, click on that 5%, and bingo. Same thing with the base salary. Here, no formulas involved. I'm just linking over to that other cell, so I just say equal, go over rates, and click that. And the total is then that plus that plus that. Okay? So, and any other sales guy, if I, if, I, if I create any more sales guys, they can all use these rates here. Those rates can be shared with all the other sheets. And if, I've, if, I, if I need to update anything, no problem. I just go into these rates, update that stuff, and bingo. Every sales guy has got an updated uh, you know, a detailed sheet. So be careful. Never, ever use constants in calculations. Believe me, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, times you think, ah, come on, that's never gonna change. I can safely use that. It will change. Believe me, I've learned it the hard way. 